I wanted to talk for a minute about something um, that's really, really helpful in my own life. I use this with my clients as well. Think about when you are stressed, when you're overwhelmed, when there's a lot going on. Maybe it's stuff with your kids. Maybe it's with work. Maybe it's with some dream you're trying to pursue, whatever it is. And you get to the space of stress and overwhelm. When we're trying to make decisions, important decisions from a space of stress and overwhelm, do we really feel like we can rely on our capacity to make those decisions well? Are we coming at that from our, from our best, from our best self with our best foot forward? No. But unfortunately, when we're in spaces of overwhelm and stress, that's often when it's most important that we're making good decisions. And so it's this weird, strange, cyclical issue that we have going on. So here's a little tool you can use in your own life. This is something that I use, something that Richie uses, something we use with our kids. Ask yourself this question. This thing that I'm worried about, can I do anything about it? Can I do anything about it? If the answer is no, then why worry? Right? Because if you don't have the ability to affect it, to do anything about it, then why would you worry about it? Because you're giving your worry away for no reason. You're giving yourself all this stress and all of these frust all this frustration over something that you really can't affect. Now, if the answer is yes, I can do something about it, then you don't need to worry because you have the capacity to do something about it. And if you can step into that space of feeling empowered and feeling capable, then suddenly all of that stress starts to melt away because you realize, you know what, I can do something about this. I don't need to stress about this. I don't need to feel all the feelings that I'm feeling because these feelings and these thoughts, they're debilitating me. They're making my ability to perform for my best decrease. And I can do something about this and I trust myself to do something about this. So stepping out of overwhelm and into a space of peace, whether it's because you really can't do anything about it, so why worry? Or you can do something about it and you're going to. Either way, you win. Mwah. So Natalie's back here shooting our, our friend's uh, pictures pre-wedding, which is happening this week. I got this thing. Look at, no, no, Amber, this is a video. Wait, come here, Amber, this is on. Tell me what happened. Oh, it's a video. Wherever you went. I saw you from a distance and I was like, Richie's Snapchatting, <laughs> making millions while I'm eating this cliff bar doing nothing. Tell me where you went just now. Not just now, but like where you got back from. How much are you paying me for this? Um, I'm just kidding. Nothing. <laughs> this is zero. Like two minutes ago? No, two days ago? two days ago. We got back from China, the worst place in the world. Probably the... <laughs> China's amazing. Did you I like saw it? you on the Great Wall. Yeah, I love China. Oh, I don't like people spitting on my feet. Yeah, that's gross. And then tell me, <laughs> where did you go before China? Oh, we were in Indonesia, um, South. No, West Sumatra. Did you catch any waves? Mentawai Islands. It was well, amazing, yeah. I'm a really bad shortboarder, so the first time in my life to actually be able to shortboard was really nice. I heard you want to move there instead of Hawaii. False. What? <laughs> <laughs> Thought about it, changed my mind. Oh my gosh. You should really be zooming up on that. I'm going to zoom in on that. There we go. That's amazing. Whoa. Amber Moses famous. Don't get me like this. <laughs> I've ever received. I've heard some pretty interesting things, some cool things. 
I had one guy tell me who was divorced right before I was about to get married. He said, he said that him and his wife were like two ships in the night passing each other. Like they both had different goals, different things, and they just started, you know, drifting away from each other. It's totally okay to like, I'm not a marriage expert by the way. It's totally okay to have different interests and different things, but try and support one another in those efforts so that you don't end up, I don't know, moving away from the but, 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 but. The best advice I've ever received, the best advice I've ever received from marriage is this. Don't take yourself so seriously. Don't take yourself so seriously. It's when you try to be like always right and you're like, this is the way it has to be. As opposed to listening, understanding, and supporting one another that things go crazy. So don't take yourself so seriously. And that's a good principle for business and life in general. Have a little fun, know what I'm saying? All right, guys. Uh, having a family is the most entrepreneurial experience I've ever had, and it's hard, but worth it. Alright guys, rock is